Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I want to talk to you about the Helium Mobile Coverage Planner. You're going to want to use this if you plan on getting a Helium Mobile device, connecting it to the network, and hoping to get proof of coverage rewards by doing so. The planner itself, it models that coverage based off of which equipment you get and the location of that equipment. And therefore, if you want to figure out what your rewards are going to be, you need to know how to use this coverage planner. Now, that being said, there are some other caveats you should consider. The first is that we are paid on a regular basis every day via the mobile token, and that is doled out to all the people on the network at once based off of each of their specific coverages. Now, there are over 10,000, if you look in the top right, 7,839 CBRS radios and 3,722 Wi-Fi radios. And there are more coming onto the network every day, which means that each radio will receive less rewards every day. So just something to consider right there. The other side to that is rewards also can vary based off of how much that mobile token is worth day to day. So as the price changes, uh, the value changes. Now, all of that said, let's take a look at the equipment. So the first type that you may be thinking about getting is the indoor hotspot. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot, meaning that it allows uh, Helium Mobile subscribers to connect via Wi-Fi. It only covers one cell, and so quite honestly, if you're looking to buy one of these, know that it is the smallest amount that you'll be able to get. And uh, trying to find one right now so you can see it. There's one. As you can see over here on the left side, it is only making 881 of those mobile tokens a day. And that's only $2.14. So just think about that if you're planning on spending $250. Again, every day that number is going to go down. Your other option is the Wi-Fi hotspot that is outdoors that definitely does have a larger area of coverage. Uh, but again, not as much as other devices can have. And uh, those other devices I refer to are, when we look here, on the list on the right, you see CBRS radios. Now, they were the first ones to connect to the network. They allow 5G coverage. Right now, there are issues with them in order to hand off from uh, regular cell towers to our CBRS cells, but they are working on a solution which they claim will come out at the end of this first quarter. So knowing that there are Generally, two kinds of CBRS radios you can get, but both of them require you to have the Freedom 5 5G Helium Hotspot. Now, generally, you would get this from Freedom 5, but it looks like they've closed down their store at this time. You can still purchase them from a place like Helium Deploy. Now, if you get the hotspot, you then need, as we just said, the CBRS radios, which can either be the BSL Nova 430H, which is $1349, or the BSL Nova 436H, which is $5,000. Both of these are actually discounted at the moment if you add it to the cart, so you may want to consider that in thinking about how much you're going to spend. Now, the interesting thing about both of these is that the first one, the Nova 430H, is a directional antenna in and of itself. It has a directional antenna inside, and so it only covers maybe a 70 degree angle, which means if you're looking to cover a 360 degree angle, you may want to buy three of them. The nice thing about buying three of them, uh, besides the fact that they're on discount right now, is that that's exactly what the Freedom 5 5G Helium Hotspot allows you to connect up to three of these uh, cells. Now, you may want to consider instead the BSL Nova 436H, 
uh, not only uh, does it give you, well, does it cost more, <laughs> but it gives you the most rewards, and it does so if you get the best antenna for it. And so far, looking at the coverage planner, the best antenna tends to be this one by KP Performance Antennas. It is the 5G Omni 13 decibel. So it is a again an omni antenna meaning it covers all directions You don't need to think about having three of them And like I said, this will get you the most rewards So knowing all of this, let's talk about how to utilize it when looking at the planner uh, My general suggestion with the planner is look at the maximum you can get based off of your best positioning of the the uh, omni directional antenna and then based off of that you can figure out what your best direction is should you decide I can't afford that much and I need to go down uh, and then look at what I can get in terms of return on investment on maybe my smaller or cheaper options so you're going to go and create a plan you'll add in a name you'll put in the, the address and by putting in the address you'll get a latitude and longitude for that address you'll then pick your antenna and determine how high up it can be whether it is at any type of angle or elevation and then the azimuth or specifically what direction uh, that antenna is facing so when it comes to antenna as I said, your best suggestion would be to start with the KP Performance 13 DBI Omni. You can look into some of these other antennas, but my advice would just to be to focus on the KP Performance 13 DBI Omni. So what I've done, for example, in mapping is looked at, say, my sister-in-law's house or rather her condo. Uh, she lives on the third floor, uh, so I've made an assumption that we can maybe go up 40 feet. I've left the angle at zero because it's a fairly flat land, and I've left the azimuth at, uh, actually, it, it, it's a flat land, but then it drops. It drops here at the bottom, uh, which maybe is why it can't reach any farther than this. Um, and I've left the azimuth as zero because it doesn't matter. It's, it's omnidirectional, so we don't really need to worry about that. And looking right here, uh, it says that I can get about 57,000 of the mobile token daily if I set up that antenna there. And that comes out to around $140 at the current value of mobile tokens. Now, maybe I can't afford that. Maybe I just can afford one of the CBRS uh, radios and I need to figure out what direction it can go. So knowing that the brighter dots here are at the center where my antenna or radio is going to be placed, I can say, okay, well, it looks like the best coverage, the largest amount of, of these hexes I can hit uh, are either maybe north or west or maybe northwest so i try setting those up in the planner and when i set those up with the cbrs i get for west and again for west that would be 270 degrees north zero degrees and i think i put 315 for something in the middle but here at west we're looking at 24,500 or around 60 bucks if I go north, I get around 24,500, and that is again around 60 bucks. So, you know, about the same, whichever direction I choose there. And uh, if I go northwest, oh, doesn't seem to want to show me. Let's try that again. And sometimes this does happen. And when you do load uh, a new setting in here, it can take up to 30 minutes for the information to come in. So just something to consider. If there's an issue, reload. Okay, and this shows me 22,000. So a little bit less. Uh, I, I would personally think maybe West is my best option in this case. Uh, but uh, let me know what you think. 
Another option, as I just mentioned, is you could have two of the CBRS radios, the 430Hs, maybe have one facing north and having one facing west. And when their coverage overlaps, that overlap area for one of the miners will get 25% less than uh, the other one will. So just something to consider there if you want to use two or three. Although with three, I think it goes down another 25%. So many people just suggest using two. Okay, that being said, uh, let's just take a look at what the Wi-Fi systems will get. So again, uh, Wi-Fi West, and this is the outdoor. And the other ones were giving us, what, around um, 60 bucks? Uh, so the Wi-Fi, which is easier to connect to, and will give you at the end of the day more rewards because it also allows data transfer at the moment although this may change at the end of the first quarter uh, it will only do around 7,000 and 7,000 mobile tokens is around $17.30 now HIP 101 may be coming out, and if HIP 101 comes out, uh, we will have this change to be uh, 2.5 times the amount that I'm looking there. So that may make a huge difference, and it may make you think about waiting until you see if HIP 101 is voted on and approved. Keep in mind, if that happens, where does that money come from? Well, it's from a giant pool, and so that means that the CBRS miners will be making a lot less and then you'll have to review it once again in the planner okay let's just also look at what it is north and north is well i'm not even gonna let it model because it already says around five thousand or twelve dollars which is a lot less so i'm not even going to take a look at it okay well I hope that helps you figure things out. One other thing that you may notice that will happen is you'll set things up and you'll say, okay, this is the coverage I was promised. Then you mount it to your roof, you connect everything, you configure it, you lock it down, and you find out that's not actually your coverage in the coverage planner. Well, the reason may be because your latitude and longitude are a little bit off. If you go into your uh, hotspot.heliumobile.com and take a look at your miners, you can click on one, for example, even the uh, Wi-Fi one, and you're going to see a latitude and a longitude set up for it. So that's going to if you put that in rather than your address that'll give you the exact amount that you are or around the amount that you're going to be getting uh when you check it in your planner it's it's fairly close maybe you'll make a little more than that uh, but it's fairly close uh and then under your if you have a freedom fi click on that and for this you're gonna have to go all the way to bottom click on the attached radio and see what the radio has in terms of the location so if you're confused you may want to add that in and that'll help you know uh, exactly what you're making okay well hey i want to thank you for watching this please like and subscribe if you like content like this and have a great day